One of the advantages of using CMH or LEC lights is that the available lamp options or bulb options that growers have. So in this Tobacco University video, I'm going to provide you with some comparisons of some of the options that are available. Let's get into some of the options you have for lamps when you're looking at CMH or LEC lights. So first off, I want you to understand that yes, many options do exist. Uh, it's not just buy one light and that's what you're stuck with. Grower's Choice uh, are provided as a representative sample here, but I'm not sponsored, nor is there any connection with the company as part of this comparison. They were selected for this comparison simply due to the options they provide in lamps are a consistent cost with an MSRP as of this um, video of $139 each. Full spectrum sheets for each bulb is provided um, for each as well. The summary of options in the 315 watt are a 3100 Kelvin full phase, uh, 3000 Kelvin uh, R, which is red enhanced, 4200 K, which is a daylight, and a 10,000 finishing bulb. And we can see them all quickly compared here, provided with a little bit more detail on each. So first off, that 3,000 uh, 3, uh, compared to the uh, 3KR, which is the 3,000 Kelvin. So that's, again, it's referring to the color temperature. So 3K overall is a good spectrum, similar to high pressure sodiums in that you can grow a plant full term under it, but it is a little bit better suited for flowering, much like a high pressure sodium. That's the 3,000 Kelvin right here, item number provided. Now the 3KR, a slight increase in the UV light in comparison to promote resin production. The 3KR has a taller peak in the far red spectrum as well. So again, slightly different or slight shift there on both the UV light and also the far red spectrum as well, which might be advantageous for some growers. Now, if we look here specifically at some of the information provided by the company, and this is the 3K light, gives you all the information here, the spectrum, and some of the details here. So you can pause the video and take a look at uh, that and compare these different light or lamp sources. And there's that R. You can see that shift in the spectrum. A lot of things stay the same, but what does change might again be advantageous if you're looking at more of that UV light and far red end of the spectrum. So looking at the 4K light, um, again, this is the 4000 Kelvin, similar to natural sunlight. So I tried to do a little comparison here. It would, the company says it's a metal halide replacement. Good if you're going to be moving plants outside after propagation in the sense you'll be already exposing them to similar wavelengths that they'll be getting outside, hopefully reducing your hardening off time and your chance of leaf burn as they transition to the outside natural sun environment. Now here's that 4K um, option there. And again, that's 4000 Kelvin, different little spectrum. Uh, and again, you can see the similar information here and you can compare this to the ones previously shown. Now the 10K finishing light, this is kind of an interesting one. The goal here is for increased resin production as it increases the plant's natural defense response to the increased amount of exposure it has to the UV light. Suggested to use only for the last 7 to 14 days of the flowering cycle, this light can be used for about 25 plus flowering cycles before it needs to be replaced. It's intended for growers looking to maximize the quality of their cannabis uh, delivered end product. So again, it's a major shift towards that UV spectrum, stressing the plant out, hopefully stressing it in a good way to increase some of the um, finishing end resin comp compounds that a cannabis plant would naturally want to produce in response to this kind of wavelength. Now here's that same kind of data sheet that you can go through, you can pause, look at a comparison. So here's just an example of using the same ballast, the same fixture, having these different lamp or bulb options can really allow a grow to dial in their um, growing area, can allow for very easy kind of transition without having to mess with all the ballast, just pop a bulb out, put another one in, and hopefully this helps provide you with some information on some of the options that exist that you may want to take advantage of to maximize your production.